after their exclusive interview with Oprah, where they opened up about their time as senior royals and growing their family, the planet is captured by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The Duke and Duchess have spoken out for the first time since stepping back from the royal family while enjoying their new life in Montecito, California. It appears that the interview takes place in a lush Montecito garden where both Oprah and now Prince Harry and Meghan call home. Most recently in July 2020, the Duke and Duchess purchased a multi-million dollar estate here, a seaside Santa Barbara neighborhood, and have given glimpses into their stunning property. Let's take a look. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Since announcing their decision to step back as senior members of the royal family, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have struggled to battle the idea everyone has that they're becoming private citizens. The couple has gone on record to say their intention was to create new roles for themselves still in the institution and still perform some official duties. As Harry said, it was never walking away, it was stepping back rather than stepping down. The couple already has a son Archie and revealed they're also now expecting a baby girl. While they still have a residence at their royal grounds, Frogmore Cottage, Prince Harry and Meghan have also finally put down roots in California. After renting a mansion from Tyler Perry during the beginning of the pandemic, the Duke and Duchess plunged down $14.7 million for private estate in the heart of posh Montecito, California. While Montecito may be a full two hours from downtown Los Angeles, many celebrities have moved here in recent years for an easygoing vibe with much less paparazzi. Current famous residents include the likes of Gwyneth Paltrow, Ellen DeGeneres, and conveniently Oprah Winfrey herself, who owns a 70 acre estate dubbed the Promised Land. This of course must have made it easier for her to set up that exclusive interview as Prince Harry and Meghan are now her new neighbors. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. Since all everyone is talking about is Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's juicy interview with Oprah that took place over the weekend, we thought we would check out where the royal couple has settled down on the west coast. While we reported on their properties in the past, that was before Meghan and Harry bought this Montecito mansion. You don't want to miss this. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat. And now, let's get into this video. While most of the big Oprah, Prince Harry, Meghan interview took place at a neighbor's home in their Santa Barbara community, the elegant couple invited Oprah into their own home for a quick tour that was also included in the special. In summer of 2020, the Duke and Duchess, who had been looking to settle down in California, decided to go big or go home with their starter home when they decided to purchase a $14.65 million estate in the heart of fancy Montecito, the Santa Barbara County enclave located on the water. Records show the large property quietly sold in mid-June 2020 to a mysterious trust that was only to keep things private, and they secured this $9.5 million mortgage to grab the 7.4 acre compound. Harry and Meghan's home is tucked away on a private gated street, giving them all the privacy they crave, and inside spans 18,671 square feet with 9 beds and 16 baths. A source close to the couple explained, This is the first home either of them have ever owned. They intend to put their roots down in this house and the quiet community which has considerable privacy. This is where they want to bring Archie up, where they hope he can have a normal life as possible. Built in 2003, the Mediterranean style main abode is decked out in beige and off-white decor with rooms like a library, games room, and a formal living rooms and dining rooms. Of course, there are also places perfect for the young family to relax together, like the Eden Chef's Kitchen or the regal entertainment space with wood paneled walls and a huge TV. The mansion is jam packed with the best amenities throughout such as a gym, separate wet and dry saunas, an arcade, a home movie theater, and of course, a private elevator. Prince Harry and Meghan can enjoy the country style master suite with wood beam ceilings, ensuite marble bathroom, and access to a private balcony with ivy covered pergola. Aside from the main living space, there's also a detached guest house with two beds and two baths, which is perfect for when Meghan's mother Doria comes to visit. Outside, other highlights are straight from a fairy tale like rose gardens, an olive grove, and even a tea house. 
The property will be ideal for keeping their young son Archie entertained as there's a children's cottage and even an epic playground that sits within the grounds of the home. For when the adults want to entertain or have their own fun, there's also a lap lane swimming pool and a full-size tennis court out back. Just a stone's throw away from the ocean, the easy-going neighborhood is the perfect spot for the private family to get some peace. While it's somewhat close to LA, Santa Barbara is relatively secluded and the more upscale residential areas are even harder to get to. Given Harry and Meghan's run-ins with LA paparazzi in the past, the move to Montecito makes sense. The family has given some peeks into their new Montecito life even in the interview where they showed their chicken coop called Archie's Chick Inn, a home to a squad of chickens rescued from a factory farm. When Prince Harry and Meghan joined a video call on behalf of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust, they also showed a sunlit corner of their home with a leafy plant and ornate stone fireplace. Duchess Meghan further met with Gloria Steinem to talk about voting soon after they moved in, and the pair chatted in the couple's gorgeous garden. As for where Prince Harry and Meghan live when they're in the UK, it's known that their residence is the Frogmore Cottage in Windsor. The couple moved in in 2019 before Archie was born from their two bedroom house at Kensington Palace, and while they stepped back as senior members, this remains their official family home when in England. The move out of London to Frogmore Cottage was a big step for the couple after the Queen agreed to create a new household for Harry and Meghan. The historic Grade 2 listed house, part of the Windsor Estates, became became a royal residence in 1792. It was converted back into a large family home for Meghan and Harry after being divided into multiple properties at the cost of $3 million. The couple moved to Windsor because their former home of Nottingham Cottage couldn't accommodate their growing family. The fully renovated modern family home the royal couple now occupies is a two-story stucco-faced house and there are reportedly five ensuite bedrooms. Other features include a Gone with the Wind style double staircase, a huge kitchen and diner, as well as a yoga room. Prince Harry and Meghan also ordered alcove bookcases to place along new fireplaces and vanity units. Out back, the couple created a vegetable plot to grow their own fruits, vegetables and herbs. Not only did the Queen give Frogmore Cottage itself to Harry and Meghan, but as a housewarming present, Her Majesty apparently offered the couple their own pick from the Royal Art Collection to make them feel at home. So now we've taken a look at Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's gorgeous new home in Montecito, California. And with that, I'll bring this house tour to an end. After checking out the first mansion they bought together, what did you guys think? Was it what you would expect of the Duke and Duchess? I for one say it is. They opted out of the hustle and bustle of LA and chose a quieter neighborhood two hours away in Santa Barbara, providing them with a ton of privacy and peace. Not to mention, the mega estate has amenities fit for a young royal family, like rose gardens, a tea house, and even a children's cottage for Archie. Out of the mansion's features, which were your fave? I love the grounds and gardens, including the pool. Be sure to subscribe to my personal channel if you want to get to know me better. I love reading your comments over there and getting to chat. We'll link you my latest video. It scarred me from my entire childhood. I still find it the scariest scene in the movie. So hello, testing. I promise in a few minutes, I'm gonna look better. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in the next house tour. Bye.